Hey guys, Fabias007 here, back with another video, and uh, this is going to be my Game Boy collection going from the Game Boy through Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, uh, where we've got a DS here, and the 3DS. So, um, yeah, jump right into it, I suppose. So, uh, we've got original Game Boy first up, and uh, all the cardboard games for. Uh, the Game Boy, the uh, Color, and the Advance. <coughs> Excuse me, got a bit of a sore throat. Uh, they've all got box protectors, so uh, and they're all in really good nick. So I always try and buy them in good nick if I can. So um, yeah, first up on the original Game Boy, we've got the uh, Game Boy Gallery, five games in one. What's that one? Pretty good game. And we got. Terminator 2. Obviously these are all boxed and complete. This one's actually pretty good. Actually, absolutely love the film. So I had to get the game. Uh, we've got Tetris 2. Uh, not as good as the original in my opinion. Still a good game. And then we've got his little brother. Or big brother I should say. The original Tetris. Loving this game at the minute, addicted to it, so good, awesome stuff. And then we got uh, World Cup, not actually played this one yet to be honest. This one uh, is a little bit sun faded, but not too worried about that. Uh, again, this was one of my favourites as a kid, and that's tennis. Nice uh, picture of Mario as the umpire. I think Mario uh, had to be in every Nintendo game, didn't he, back in the day. It's that one. Another classic. Again, Mario's in this one. That's uh, Alleyway. Really addictive game as well. Love this game. You can probably get this on most uh, smartphones and stuff now, I'd imagine. I thought it was called Alleyway. It's called something else, isn't it? Or Astro Blast, is it? Or something, I don't know. Another addictive game with Mario in. That's Dr. Mario. Uh, if you haven't played this game, it's a little bit like Tetris, but um, with pills. Yeah, great for kids. Swally of pills. And then the classic Donkey Kong. Awesome game. Love this game. Uh, and then we've got. I do those in order. Well, I didn't show them together. I've got the. Um, what do you call it? Nintendo Classics versions of, where are we, try and get them both in, Super Mario Land 1 and 2. Uh, in my opinion, this one, Super Mario Land, is better than this one, 6 Golden Coins, slightly. I mean, they're both awesome games, but this is one I had uh, first, obviously, being first out, so, uh, yeah. This one is my favourite, just about, I think. And next up we've got another game I was a kid and got back last year, possibly. And that is Mortal Kombat. Everyone knows Mortal Kombat, we'll talk about that. Uh, another game of Mario in, surprise, surprise. That's Golf. Another game I had as a kid, that one in back. Pretty good game. And the last original Game Boy title is Mario and Yoshi, which uh, I'm not for that much time into, to be honest. It's all right. It's a puzzle, puzzle type game. But it's all right. Not too bad. So that's all my original Game Boy stuff. So I'm boiling. It's really hot in here. Sweating like a beast. <sighs> uh, next up, Game Boy Color. Uh, I've only got. I didn't realize I only had this many games. Have I mixed them up at all? No, that's it. Uh, yeah, just got the three uh, box to complete Game Boy Color games. Uh, I'll do the worst first. That is, I say the worst first. It's not too bad a game actually. That's Driver. Uh, I bought this because I like the Driver series, and this one's all right. Reminds me a little bit of the original GTA's, to be honest. It's uh, kind of top down. Sorry about the glare. Hope you can see that. Yeah, kind of a top down view, driving around like that. Yeah, it's not a bad game. And we've got the classic Wario Land 3. 
this one's in awesome condition as well. Um, can you see that? There's some screenshots for you. Really good game. Hey birds. You trying to be in camera again? I think your head's just about in shot, mate. Yeah, and uh, last up on Game Boy Color is uh, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. Absolute quality game. The best game I've played on the system so far, in my humble opinion. Hey, buds. Um, yeah, so that's all my uh, original Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. And then we go to the Game Boy Advance. Don't get them, mate. Don't you get buds, good boy. Uh, first up is FIFA 06. Fairly bog standard game, I'm sure everyone knows about FIFA. And we've got Disney Princess. Absolutely awesome game. I'm kidding, this is my daughter's. Actually, the graphics are pretty good to be fair. She loves all her Disney Princess crap, as I'm sure all little girls do. Excuse me. Uh, should we do those little last? Uh, do this pile. Um, big fan of this series as well. We've got Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. Uh, not put too much time into this one. I've been playing Banjo Kazooie in the N64, so that's how I've been getting my banjo fixed lately. And then we've got SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. Another one of the kids' games. There's quite a few kids' games in here in the DS lot because uh, they play a lot of it, so they've got a lot of games for it. And then we've got Spider Man on the Advance, which I share with my little boy because we're both Spider Man fans. It's a bit sad, isn't it, sharing your games with a four year old, but there we go. Uh, another banjo game. This is Banjo Pilot. It's not a bad game. And then we've got. Monsters Inc. And then we come on to the decent stuff. Well, in my opinion, it's decent stuff. Uh, first up is Donkey Kong Country. Awesome stuff. This is such a good game. Really want to get this back on the SNES. Um, yeah. It's, I, I don't know if I'll get it boxed on the SNES, but I, I want it at least a cart. I don't think I'm going to be collecting um, boxed games for the SNES. I'm doing it for the N64, so I think it's too expensive to do it for both. But never say never, you know. Anyway, but yeah, it's that one. Uh, next up, uh, this game seems to be becoming quite rare and quite expensive, and that's uh, Mario Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. I got this really cheap. I think I got this for about six quid or something like that. And it's um, like new, to be honest. So yeah. Happy to have that, for sure. Then we've got uh, Super Mario Ball. Pinball type game. I think this has got um, a different name in uh, America, I think. Super Mario... What is it called? I can't remember what it's called. No, but it's not called that, I don't think. And then we've got the game I got the other day. Sealed still. And that's uh, Mario Power Tennis. Got that from Club Nintendo, if you didn't see that pickups vid. And then another game we got the other day uh, from uh, Ian McGrath. And uh, that's Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I love this game. Really addictive. Quality stuff like this. Uh, next up. Oh, this. I've missed out a Game Boy Color game. What a Wally. And that's uh, Mario Golf. This one again is like new. And this is a pretty good game actually. I like my Mario Golf games. I've got loads of the bloody things. Which brings me nicely into this one. Mario Golf Advanced Tour. And we've got Super Mario Advance, uh, which is uh, basically Super Mario Brothers 2. And you get Super Mario Brothers as well. So lots of radishes everywhere in that game. And lastly, but not leastly, on the GBA, we've got Mario Kart Super Circuit, which is probably my favourite GBA game I would have said. I uh, love me some Mario Kart. I cannot wait for Mario Kart 8. No. 7, 8? Is it 8? For the Wii U? I've lost count. 
I'm tired as well, which doesn't help, does it? Um, so that's all those. Next up, we got a massive load of DS stuff. To be fair, there's a lot of shit in the DS collection because it's mainly the kids' stuff, but I thought it's, you know. Oh, I've got one more Game of Advance game, and that's this fake game that I picked up of uh, Super Mario World. Gutted that it's fake, but I will get a uh, genuine copy. I mean, I wouldn't mind it was fake, but they don't fucking save, do they? So you can't play it, especially a game like Mario World. You know, you play for two hours and get through a couple of worlds or whatever, and then turn it off, you've got to start again, and fuck that. So, still got that fucking thing. Right, DS, we've got Guitar Hero, is it World Tour? No, Guitar Hero on Tour, which is shit. Don't play it, it's rubbish. <coughs> and then we've got Mario vs Donkey Kong 2, March of the Minis, yep. Which we got the other day, pretty good game. And we've got Imagine Happy Cooking. We've got FIFA World Cup Germany 2006. We've got Big Brain Academy. We've got Jamie Oliver What's Cooking, Lisping Twat, uh, Mario Kart DS, which is fucking wicked. We've got New Super Mario Brothers, uh, Wario Master of Disguise, Yoshi's Island DS, which I haven't played yet but my daughter loves, uh, Tele Addicts. For all you 80s children, uh, Bratz Diamonds, Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics, uh, The Sun Crossword Challenge, uh, the original Diabolic Sin, which I don't think I'll ever play to be honest. Um, we've got Yoshi Touch and Go. Which I think is fairly uncommon, I'm not sure. Uh, we've got jam sessions. We've got more brain training. We've got eight ball all stars, which is half decent. We've got Animal Crossing Wild World. We've got Pokemon Pokemon White. And uh, Disney's Enchanted with Amy Adams on the front, who I would eat with a spoon. And we've got Madden 07. We've got another bloody Noel Edmonds thing here. Uh, deal or no deal. Um, some horsey woman. Uh, Pippa, Pippa Funnel. No, no, no. Last stack of DS stuff, we've got Nintendogs, Labrador and Friends, The Sims 2, Castaway, Top Spin 2, Hello Baby, oh, that could be my head there, can it? Hello. Uh, brain Training, Brain Training, don't know why we've got two. Uh, oh God. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Circle of Spies. I'm sure that's an enthralling game. Oh, and then we come to our real shit. I'm not even saying that. Uh, Guitar Hero on Tour Decades. Uh, is there any decent tunes on this? Uh, Lincoln Park, Foo Fighters, yes, yes there is, is the answer to that. And then we got Spongebob, The Truth, well, Spongebob, Truth or Square. No idea. And lastly, but not leastly, we've got Sonic Rush Adventure, which is decent. So there, that was the big old stack of DS stuff. And lastly, we've got uh, 3DS stuff. Uh, Nearly 15 minutes, we're fine. Uh, yep, first up we've got Pez 2011, uh, which is alright. It's not as good as FIFA, but it's alright, I picked out really cheap. And then we've got 
Paper Mario Sticker Star, which I haven't put nearly enough time into. That's that one. We've got FIFA 12, which is a lot better than Pez. Uh, we've got Driver Renegade 3D, which is decent. Recommend that one. Uh, we've got a case, <laughs> case and manual for Zelda Ocarina of Time. I bought this ages ago because somebody was selling it for next to nothing. Just the, like I say, the case and manual. So um, I will pick up a cart when I see one go for cheap enough. Ah, this answers my previous question from earlier on. This is Mario Kart 7. So I'm guessing the Wii U version is Mario Kart 8. Uh, again, this is awesome. All the Mario Kart games are. And uh, we've got Luigi's Mansion 2, which I still haven't finished. Uh, we've got Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, which is a port of the Wii game, but you get more life in this one because this guy, game's hard as nails, I think. So, um, yeah, enjoy this version. It's really good, although the 3D on it is not great. Um, we've got Mario Open Tennis, sucker for Mario games, Super Mario 3D Land. Cannot wait for the Wii U version of this, looks absolutely phenomenal. And uh, probably my favourite 3DS game so far is uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. I haven't got my million coins yet, but uh, I'm sure I will at some point. And last on the 3DS, we have got Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. <sighs> Blimey. Didn't realise I had so much handheld stuff, to be honest. But yeah. Uh, that's all my Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, uh, DS, and 3DS stuff. All of it. Shared with you, good people. That is it, yeah. Um, I did a little video earlier today of all the packages from the post office. And um, having opened them, I'm even more excited about the uh, the next pickups video I'm going to do. So much cool stuff to show you, and uh, I'm just waiting for a few more bits to come. Um, so hopefully, it'll be done either at the weekend or Monday. The video that's when I'll have time next. I think I've been pretty busy at work and stuff, so yeah, really excited about that. Uh, I've got yeah some more stuff coming. Uh, a couple of bits from fellow tubers, which I'll mention at the time. Um, big thanks to Retro Chef who helped me out with one of the games I've got to show you. Cheers, Lee, you're a diamond, mate. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'll do a lot of shout outs in that video. I think yeah, that'll be my um, that'll be my fiftieth fiftieth video on here, which is awesome. Can't believe it's uh, fifty videos already. Um, yeah, sorry for being t a bit tired and a bit lethargic this evening, but uh, like I say, it's been a long week so far, so thought I'd do a quick video now and show you. It was not quick, it's nearly 20 minutes, but hey ho, there we go. Yeah, I, I look forward to seeing you next one, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.